so it's been about a month since I've come on here to speak although I have posted a few videos so if you haven't checked them out please do so um, I posted about our trip that um, me and Sammy took to the Virgin Islands that was so well needed um, that was the last video and I also posted an anniversary video and I posted a video about journey and her family's trip around the entire US this is their t-shirt if you haven't um, seen any of those those videos please um, go and check them out and um, every time I go quiet I get a lot of people reaching out checking on us to see how we're doing and stuff like that and so we really appreciate um, how people continue to keep our family um, in their thoughts and their prayers and reach out to us because um, it's so necessary and um, it's so important to continue following up with people even after a loss of a child because I think a lot of times people go back to their lives and um, the family is still left dealing with the grief and the mixed feelings and emotions that come with losing a child and so thank you to everyone that continues to reach out to me and to Sammy that checks on us and the kids we, we truly appreciate it um, and so our family this summer really just worked on just coming together doing things together um, spending time doing fun things um, after me and Sammy came back from the Virgin Islands uh, we took the kids to Orlando for a few days and got to do um, some fun things with them and my niece. And so that was really nice. But now we're back to reality. Um, school starting and Sammy being busy with work. And I am currently waiting to hear back about a job um, that hopefully I'll share more about um, once it becomes official. But we are in a season of waiting um, and transition. I think I mentioned that. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at some point, but it, it is a very huge transitional period that we are going through. Um, and it comes with a lot of feelings that, interestingly enough, remind me of when I was pregnant with Samara. It was a season of waiting. And I've mentioned in the past about patience not being my strongest quality and something that I really do feel God has been working on in me. Um, because I am not the most patient person and not knowing what's ahead can be quite nerve-wracking at times. Um, and I say it reminds me of when I was pregnant with Samara because there were so many unknowns ahead in terms of what was going to happen in her life and in our family. And I had no choice but to kind of just, well, I did have choices, but in the sense of, um... I could have been a nervous wreck, I could have been a disaster emotionally, I could have been crying all day or whatever, um, but you know, I chose to wait on, on God and just try to maintain a positive attitude and try to work on um, the, stopping the negative thoughts that will come in. And so I'm kind of back in that place again. Um, there's so many things that feel like they are pending. And there's nothing per se specifically. Um, it's just what's gonna happen next. Like, what am I gonna do professionally? I have an idea of what will be happening professionally, but nothing is 100% set in stone yet. And even when that um, comes through, if it comes through, God willing, I still don't know 100% what that's gonna look like until I actually start. Um, with Sammy, his business is going through a lot of changes and. Um, that has been a, a big stressor on him. And uh, Nathan is starting high school. Jasmine uh, just started 10th grade. And so, you know, the high school years are uh, challenging for teenagers, you know, especially now in the day that we live. And so my word of the day is patience because I think we all have moments where we go through times of waiting, being unsure of what the next step is, or being even unsure of what we want the next step to be. Um, and as I'm talking, you know, I realize the next step is for me to continue trusting God because there's so many things I don't know right now because I honestly didn't anticipate my life going in this direction at all. Um, and I'm getting a little emotional as I'm talking. Um, at the beginning of this year, I never anticipated what this year was going to look like. And 
you know, the other day I was talking to Sammy and I was talking to my mom and I was like, man, I, this year has been a lot and I wonder what 2023 is going to look like when we finally get there. Like, what is the next year going to look like? What does it involve? What will be happening? What will life look like? And I'm reminded that God provides and even when the next step doesn't look the way we anticipated. God is still there. And so that is what I hold on to. That is what helps keep me sane. Because even when I look back to Samara's life, despite the fact that it ended before I thought it would, um, we saw God at every step. You know, we had confirmation um, at every step that we were going in the direction that God wanted us to go. And so that is... That is where I am right now because I know people wonder, well, emotionally, how is she really doing? How is the family really doing? Is Elise really always so pleasant? <laughs> and the reality is, is yes, for the most part, um, I do believe my faith in God has helped to keep me sane because otherwise I, I don't know how I would be functioning without having the hope of seeing Samara again, without... Um, knowing that God has a plan and a purpose to even my pain and suffering. And so, if you are in a season of waiting, or if a season of waiting presents itself um, to you, I encourage you to trust in God, knowing that he has a plan and a purpose, um, and that he is working on our character development. And that's what I see daily, that I'm learning to trust God in a way that I didn't even though I could before. And so I continue to have patience as I continue to wait on the next steps. I pray that as you guys watch these videos that you see something that helps you get through um, a difficult moment or you share it with someone that may need to hear something in these videos. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please, um, subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because oftentimes I have to send out the videos to everybody um, for a lot of people to actually go see them. Whereas if you're subscribed and get notifications, then you will just automatically know that I posted a video. My goal is to get back into posting um, more things um, daily. Well, not daily, sorry. <laughs> posting more things more regularly. Um, as life gets busier, um, I still want to continue to update you about our lives and what we're doing and how we're coping, how we're managing the new things that develop. So thank you for watching. Um, continue sharing these videos. Um, may you all be blessed today and throughout this week. God provides, so why do I worry about my life when you come? to my rescue without